What's up everybody, it's Lowly618 bringing you guys another commentary and this commentary is going to be a little different as it's going to be surrounded by one question. And I want you guys to answer this in the comment section below. How do you define the term gamer? And I ask this because there's always a commotion about what makes a person a gamer. And I always see it boiled down to something like Oh, if you do not like Destiny, or if you do not like Call of Duty, or if you do not like League of Legends, or World of Warcraft, or insert game here, then you are not a true gamer. Or something to the effect like, if you don't play on the PlayStation 4, if you don't play on the Xbox One, if you don't play on PC, if you only play on mobile devices, then you are not a true gamer. And, you know, I... Whenever I see this question, what defines a gamer, whenever I think about it, I get the same feeling whenever I'm asked, you know, what is, quote, normal? And, I mean, we all have different types of normal. I mean, whenever I think normal, I look at my family and I think about, you know, being lighthearted, you know, giving each other a bunch of crap all the time, you know, saying jokes, you know, taking past experiences and making fun of them and making, you know, lighthearted jokes about them and... You know, I think about, you know, just always being on the run half the time and, you know, always like, oh, a surprise trip to St. Louis or Chicago, you know, that I didn't know about until like a day before. And, you know, to me, that's normal. But to someone like you, you might think that's strange. And, you know, there's always these types of weird um, things that we define as normal. And you can kind of correlate that to how you define the term gamer. And, you know, I thought about this earlier today, and I got an answer that I think kind of works. And let me know in the comment section if you guys think this actually works. And I want your guys' feedback on this. But I, but I've started to think of how to define the term gamer as how we define autism. And before you start raging in the comments, let me explain. It's, we've gone in, in our history over the past 40 or 50 years to define autism as one type of disease to a whole spectrum of diseases. You know, you got your, you know, very low forms to your very high forms, your, you know, not so severe to your very severe types of autism. And I kind of see that as, ga as a way to help define gamer. You know, game, a gamer can be found in a very wide spectrum. You got the you know, very occasional, only plays very casual mobile games, and then you got the hardcore, spends 300 bucks on World of Warcraft, buys all the DLC, buys every single game, plays every single game for 20 hours a day type of gamer. And there's a whole spectrum of, of it. In fact, we can almost call it Gamer Spectrum Disorder <laughs> in some aspects. But let me know in the comments section what you guys think. How do you define the term gamer? Do you think my whole little spectrum thing kind of works out? And, you know, just share your thoughts down in the comments below. And while you're down there, hit like, hit subscribe. You guys know the deal. But my name's Lowly618, and I'm out. Peace!